Oh, oh my God. I'm like about to start crying. Woo! Okay. So you guys, I am so freaking excited that we just did this. I want you guys to see something, what we just did here. Like I had this all planned. Like I was so freaking excited to come on here and just show you guys what people are capable of when they freaking come together. You guys, like when you come together, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Okay. And that is honestly like what this business is all about. You guys, that's what that's what, I'm sorry, I just ate a bunch of ice cream. <laughs> um, that is what our business is all about, you guys. That's what this company is all about. That's what this team is all about. And we cannot ever, 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 115, we cannot ever, ever, ever lose sight of that, you guys, okay? Like, we can never, ever, ever lose sight of that, okay? So that's like when you're rallying with your team at the end of the month. Like, I know that some of you guys might not be close to a promotion right now. Like, some of you guys might not be close to even maintaining your rank, but that's okay. Somebody on your upline might be close to maintaining their rank. Somebody on your upline, like, somebody in your sideline whatever you guys like it's all about coming together and making things happen together you guys we are makeup moguls we do things hard we, we do hard things we do them hardcore and we are together to the top you guys together to the top we just did this and we just made this happen 119 freaking people when usually we've got like 35 okay like let's go you guys this is amazing okay so i'm really excited and i'm really freaking grateful you guys i've got a lot of awesome <coughs> i'm also still sick <clears throat> But I've also, um, <coughs> I shouldn't have yelled. Um, I've got a lot of great stuff to talk about, you guys. If you do not know, if you did not see, they announced today that they are doing 30% off tons and tons and tons of things starting the day after Christmas, you guys, at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? I want you to know, it does not matter where you are in your business right now. It does not matter, you guys. Listen, I want you guys to remember something for the rest of your days in business, okay? I want you guys to remember something for the rest of your days in business. You are here because you deserve to be here. You are here because you are worthy. You deserve success and you are capable of achieving success, my friends, okay? It doesn't matter what your goal is, you guys. A goal is just a dream with a deadline. We've been hearing a lot of stuff. A lot of people talk about that, especially from GoPro, you guys, okay? A goal is just a dream with a deadline. It's great and it's very healthy to set goals, you guys. It is, but... When we approach the timeline in the month, like as we approach the end of the month, as we approach the middle of the month, as we approach the first week ending of the month, you guys, we start to analyze our goals and we start to think to ourselves like, oh my gosh, this is not going to happen. Like I'm not good enough in our head. We start like getting really down on ourselves. Okay. So I want you guys to set a goal. Always, 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 always set goals. You guys, however, I want you guys always to be focused on one foot in front of the other one foot in front of the other my mom's boyfriend said one time and it really inspired me because he's got um, a disability and he cannot feel anything from his I think he can't feel anything from his knees down I want to say and I said mom how does he walk and she goes one foot in front of the other and that like from that day you guys that really freaking hit me okay so I'm saying this because I don't know what your goal was for this month. I know though that a lot of you guys came into this month thinking, I'm gonna crush this, November was amazing, let's do this, I'm gonna hit this month, I'm gonna hit this goal this month, I'm gonna do this this month, I'm gonna do that this month, I'm gonna do all these things this month, you guys. I've been there, I've done it, I've said it, I've been all the places in this business, you guys, it's been five freaking years almost since I've started my business with Unique, okay? I've set all the things, I've set all the goals, I've done it all, you guys, okay? But I do know one thing. This is what I know. I know, you guys, that when we set a goal and we don't feel like we can achieve it, we freeze and we pause, okay? And we stop working to achieve that goal because we don't feel like it's possible. We don't feel like it's possible, you guys, okay? I want you to know it does not matter whether your goal that you set is possible or not. It does not matter. It never matters. What matters is putting that one foot in front of the other foot, 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 because every time you move your feet, what happens, you guys? Every time you move your feet, you get that much closer to the destination that you set for yourself, okay? So you set a goal, if you put one foot in front of the other, it does not matter if you hit your goal this month or three years from now. Every single time you take a step forward, every single time you move your feet, it is taking action towards getting closer to that goal. Okay, you guys, stop giving up on yourself. Stop beating yourself up over every little thing. You do not deserve that. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel ooey and freaking gooey inside. And I want you guys to know that if you take full advantage of this 30% off that's coming in a couple of days, you guys, 
take time with your family, okay? Post as much as you can. Take the action that you possibly can right now. I know that this is family time. Hang out with your family, you guys. Be with your family. Rest, relax, but do not get too comfortable resting and relaxing, okay? Because this 30% off is a great way to get a lot of feet in front of the other. It's, it's a great way to start speed walking, okay? It's a great way to hop on that moving walkway at the airport to get ahead of where you were if you were just walking and you didn't get on that moving walkway, you guys, okay? It's a great way to get ahead. This is a great opportunity to get ahead. Like I said, though, it does not matter if you set your goal as green status and you're sitting at 2000 in company sales right now, or if you're sitting at 1500 company sales, it does not matter. It does not matter. All that matters is that you are taking action towards a better today, a better hour from now, a better three hours from now, a better five minutes from now, you guys, a better everything, a better tomorrow, a better week ahead, whatever. As long as you are taking action every single day towards a better future. Yesterday was yesterday. La the hour that just passed, that was the hour that just passed. The person that just cussed you out at the restaurant or behind you in the car, the person that honked at you, my crazy neighbor across the street who yelled at me because the construction workers were blocking her driveway which they weren't, that was then, that was then, this is now. You choose, you have to choose you guys to change your moment and change your mindset in the moment, okay? I could have chosen to let all that stuff ruin my day that happened to me today. I could have chosen to let all that stuff ruin my day. I could choose to let everything that happened to me this month ruin my entire month. Or I could say, okay, today's a new day. Today's a new day. This is a new deal that's coming, 30% off. This is a prime, what I could do is I could say, this is a prime opportunity for me to acquire new customers. Those people that have been wanting to try my makeup, okay, but haven't been able to afford it, this is a prime opportunity for me to acquire new customers, you guys. Acquiring customers is the most important thing that you can do in your business because as soon as you get those customers hooked on our products, you follow up with them. Here's the process, you guys. Acquire the customers by showing up every day. It's not going to happen fast and it doesn't happen overnight. I know a lot of you guys know that, but here's your friendly reminder, okay? You want to acquire the customers and the way that you acquire the customers is by showing up, okay? Why is it? Think of the last thing that you bought. Think of, does anybody, tell me in the chat right now. Tell me in the, hi Val, tell me in the chat right now, you guys. What is the last thing that you bought? Or tell me right now um, in the chat, have you ever thought about buying a Peloton? I do, all the time. I've never, I've cycled one time in my life, one time in my life with Kelly Dalton. Her and I went to a cycling class, but I literally want a Peloton so bad. I want a Peloton so bad. And you better believe if they mark that shit down on sale, I would buy that shit tomorrow. Okay. But here's the thing. Why do I want a Peloton? Why do I want a Peloton? You guys, when I've only cycled one time and I hated it, I literally hated it. I, my butt hurt so bad. That thing was like riding up my crotch. Why do I want that Peloton so bad? Why? after I felt like I literally, like I had a bruised ass for like a week. Why do I want a Peloton? Because I see it on my TV all the time and the lady riding it looks so amazing. She looks happy, she looks confident, she looks freaking incredible. Her family like watches her on the Peloton like, mommy, you are so freaking amazing. Look at you go on that thing, oh my God. Like her kids are like looking up to her. They paint this picture on that Peloton, you guys, that that thing is the number one thing that you have to have in your life and they never mark it down because it's a valuable product, okay? And people want it. Regardless of whether it's on sale, people want it and they buy it like crazy because Peloton is always on my television. <laughs> always on my television, you guys. No matter what channel I'm watching, they are always on my television. I'm not going to call Peloton and be like, y'all need to shut up and you need to stop posting commercials all the time. I'm annoyed by you. You need to go away. Please stop showing up. No. What they're doing is they're showing up regardless of whether they think they're annoying people, whether they think people don't want to see it, whether people are annoyed by their commercials, whether people think that their commercials suck, whether people think that their commercials are freaking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some, there was like a bunch of conflict over a Peloton commercial that I saw on Alex's profile, I think. I don't know exactly what happened, but something happened. They don't care. They don't care. It's attention and they got it and they win. And I want a Peloton and I hate Sorry, I hate cycling. I hate it, okay? You guys, I hate it, but I want one. That's your goal. 
That's your goal, you guys, okay? Get everyone and their mother to want your Peloton. How? You just show up and you talk about it every freaking day. Even if you're bruising their butt, you guys, even if you're making them feel like they've been sitting on the most uncomfortable chair their entire life, you guys, it does not matter. You keep showing up and you keep getting these people to want your makeup, okay? You get them to want to ride your freaking Peloton, you guys. That's what you do. That's what we do. Okay, so I want you guys to go freaking psychotic, psychotic, you guys, over these sales. I want you guys to start talking about them now, okay? I don't even care if you don't make any sales for the next couple of days. You go out there and you talk about it right freaking now, you guys, right freaking now, okay? And guess what else you're gonna do? You are literally not going to post. I've been seeing pictures all over the place like, um, regular price 19 is now 14 or whatever. Here's the thing, you guys, the psychology behind sales is this. Um, nobody wants to see the price. What they want to see is how much they're going to save. Okay. That is way more enticing. And that is way more appealing to people to see how much money they're going to save. $20 off sounds a lot better than $19. You know what I mean? Saving, saving $20 sounds a lot better than you pay 19. Okay. Hearing somebody say, saving $20 as opposed to paying $80. You pay $80, regular 100, you pay 80. Saving $20 sounds so much better than what they're gonna pay. And it also allows you to get in the messenger and start a conversation with people, okay? So if you're gonna talk about this stuff, you guys, you say, hey, I'm so stoked about this eyebrow pencil right now. Um, it's X amount of dollars off, you guys, and it's only for a limited time while supplies last and this stuff is gonna sell out. And then you show them why they need that crap because it's discounted right now. You show them why they freaking need it, you guys. And you show them why they need it every day. Every day until you are blue in the face. And guess what happens on January 1st? you keep showing them, even though it's not on sale anymore. You don't go away this time. You don't go away this time. You don't allow your fear to determine your fate, you guys. You don't allow the stuff that's happening in your life to determine whether or not you show up. You don't allow that to happen. You don't allow that to happen because you're working hard and it better not be for nothing, you guys. It cannot be for nothing. You're working so hard here to make your dreams come true, you guys. You deserve to have success. You deserve to build a successful business, you guys. You deserve to have a freaking, all the confidence in the world. You deserve to feel like, gosh, dang, I did it. Gosh, dang, I arrived. I made it. Like, I did this thing. I did it. Like, how good is that going to feel for you guys when you take advantage of these things that corporate gives us? And even when they're not giving us anything, you still take advantage of it and you still show up, you guys, and you still give it all you've got because this means something to you because you've got passion in your heart for this, you guys. You keep showing up, not because you're getting zero sales and you feel like you can't do it. You keep showing up because this means something to you, because your family means something to you. And I'm not saying if you don't work your business that your family doesn't mean anything to you. I'm just saying that like you want to provide your family with something incredible and you have an opportunity to do it here. You guys, you can't do this anywhere else. You can't do this with another business. You can't do this working at a regular job, you guys. You just can't. And your family and you, you both deserve this, you guys. And this is a prime example to get back on that walkway and start speed walking. What's that scene from uh, Dumb and Dumber where he's all, I feel like I'm walking at an incredibly fast speed. Like, and he's just going like this. And he's sitting in place and he's literally just going like this, you guys. That's what I want everybody to do this right now. For real. Do this with me, please, so I don't feel stupid. Oh my God, let me, let me see you run. Let me see you ask. Let me see you run. Let me, oh my God, yes! Yes! Thank you! <laughs> you guys, that's what we're going to do. We are literally going to run like hell, and we are not going to stop, you guys, because momentum is freaking everything, you guys. Momentum is everything. You had it last month. You let it go. You dropped the ball. That's okay. Get up. It's time to get up, my friends. It's time to get up, and it's time to dust yourself off. It's time to forgive yourself. You guys, I say it all the time and I don't care how many times I have to remind you it's okay to fall. It's okay to drop the ball. It's okay to make mistakes. You guys, no one is perfect. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to suck. There are so many days you're going to suck you guys. So right now what I want for you guys to do is I want for you guys to tell me in the chat bar right now, I don't care what it is. You guys, 
What is one thing that you are proud of about your business right now? I don't care if you are literally sitting at zero PRS. I don't care if you've sponsored zero people in six months. I don't care. There's got to be something. There's got to be something, you guys, okay? There's got to be something. So you tell me right now in that chat bar and let's cheer each other on like freaking crazy, you guys. What are you proud of right now about your business? Are you proud that you're here? You're here. That's something to be proud of, you guys, okay? So what I want for you guys to do is I want for you guys to make a commitment to yourself. And I know that it's hard to keep a commitment, you guys. It's hard to keep a commitment. It's hard to stay, it's hard to stay disciplined, you guys. It's hard to stay on the ball. It's hard to do those things, you guys. It's really freaking hard. I know it. I know it is. But you can do hard things. You can do hard things, you guys. You've been through shit. I know you guys have been through shit. I've been through it. You've been through it. You've been through so much in your life. It's time to let go of those things that are holding you back and allow yourself to step into the success that you freaking deserve, you guys. It's time, okay? 2020 is coming. You don't have to wait for 2020 to get started. This, this special that's coming, you guys, and Sarah Shaw is actually going to speak right after me. So get ready for her, y'all. Okay. She's going to tell you how to make it happen. Yes. Okay. But listen, like this, you can't wait. This, this deal, the 30% off that's coming, you guys, get off your ass. I'm not kidding. Okay. Because here's the deal. You guys, if you take advantage of this 30% off to acquire customers, your 2020 is going to be that much better. Because these customers... I don't think I finished even talking about the process because I got so freaking caught up in my craziness, okay? But when you acquire customers, you guys, you talk about it all the time. Remember, we started talking about Peloton. That's what happened, okay? So you start talking about it all the time. It's okay. Go live and talk about, I dropped the ball. I freaking, whatever. I dropped the ball. Suck it, ball, okay? I don't need the ball. I don't need the ball, okay? I'm here. Let's do this thing, okay? And you just show up and you let people know I'm here and I'm staying and I'm not going anywhere and here is why. And that's where you start. Write that down. That's where you start. You go live and you tell the world I'm here. I don't care what you think. I don't care if I freaking fail. I don't care if I fall. I don't care how many times I got to fall. I'm going to fall down eight and I'm going to get up nine. Does not matter. I don't even know if that's a saying. Doesn't matter because you're going to fall down 20 more times. And then you're going to get up 21. You got me? You guys, you're going to fall. You're going to suck. And you're going to go live and you're going to tell everyone that you are here and that you're doing it. And then you tell them why. You tell them why. Because people are going to buy from you and people are going to support you, you guys, because they connect with you. Because they know why you're showing up. Because they know why you're here. Because they know why you want to sell this makeup. They know why you need this money. They know what it means to your family. They know why your family needs this money. They know what your future means to you because they see it on your face every single day. They see your future on your face. They see your vision in their eyes because you are glowing and you are radiating amazingness every single day. And you show them that every day, every day, then they begin to trust you slowly, but surely they begin to trust you. You guys, it's not going to be fast. Some people may not even buy from you during the sale, but some people will. And even if nobody buys from you during the sale, that is okay because you're showing up and you're building that trust and you're starting the process. You've got to start the process and you've got to stay with the process. You guys, you cannot give up when it doesn't work out super fast. You cannot, you keep going because your future and your vision and your family means something to you. You mean something to you. Do you know how good it feels to succeed in this business? You guys, I've never felt better about myself than when I can walk around and I can say to people, I built this business, this badass business, and I make this much money and I do all these things and I go on all these trips and I do this stuff and I walk, you guys, I've never walked taller in my life. I've never felt better. I've never felt more confidence in my entire life than just being able to simply say, I've built a successful business. It doesn't matter how much money I make. I do something that so many people won't do. And so do you. That is something to be so proud of, you guys. 
stand taller and walk with your shoulders held higher because you are doing something here that so many people won't do. You keep showing up, right? You build the trust, you send the messages, you build the relationships, okay, you guys? Hey, girlfriend, love your new haircut. I think it's freaking amazing. What color line did they use? Hey, girlfriend, your new puppy is freaking adorable. What kind of puppy is it? Where did you get it? Hey, girlfriend, I love your pants. Where did you get them? They make your booty look so good. I feel like us girls gotta stick together. Get that booty, girl, okay? Build relationships, you guys. Build the relationships, okay? And then you message people and you say to them, hey, girlfriend, I would love your support with my new business. It means everything to me. Have you seen my freaking makeup lately? Is there anything I can get for you? Okay? They say no. Doesn't matter. You keep going. You keep freaking, you keep going. You keep going. You keep going. Okay? You acquire the customers. Your customers then become an affiliate. Your customers then probably become people that want to join your team. Your customers become repeat customers. That's how the process of this business works. It's so damn simple. Acquire the customer by building the trust and shoving it in their face all day long and being proud of your business, owning your business. Say in the chat right now, if you're committed to owning your business, own your business, you guys, okay? Are you committed to owning your business, you guys, okay? You own your business, let's own it together, okay? So you, you show up, you gain their trust, you start the conversations, Okay, you become their best girlfriend that they've never met before. By going live, by talking to them, by commenting on their stuff as you see them in your newsfeed, you become their best girlfriend. And they're not even gonna realize that they've never even met you before because they're gonna feel so close to you. Get it? Make sense? Okay, then they acquire the product and you acquire them as a customer. They have three paths that they can take, or even four. Path number one, repeat customer. Path number two, affiliate, which gives you access to their network, which allows you to start the process all over again. Path number three, they join your team. Path number four, you never talk to them again because they hate it. Every path is fine. Every path is fine. And they're all a win. Even path number four, because it's not gonna be for everyone, but at least you made a new friend, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to let Sarah Shaw rock this the hell out, give you guys some of her daily methods of operation, then I'm going to close this out. Okay, you guys, let me see where Sarah, let's go. Let's go, girl. Let me see what you got. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. I don't even know where to start. I'm fired up. <laughs> There's so much I want to say, but first and foremost, you guys, I just want to say, Amanda has rocked my world and I know everyone on this call knows it because she just rocked yours and I just want to tell you that I've only been doing this since September and Amanda's right what you did three months ago is gonna pay you today you have got to stay the course because I'm telling you when you think no one's paying attention they are can I tell you that everywhere I go and I run into people we just went to a work party for my husband Okay, we're both police officers, people. These are, these are men, mostly, okay? And do you know how many men came up to me and said, hey, I see you all the time on my Facebook feed. What is this you're doing, this makeup? I mean, guys are even paying attention because they're like, this girl won't go away. I'm telling you, if the guys are saying, this girl won't go away, so are their wives, so are all of the other women on your friendship group and everybody that you're messaging because they're seeing you and they're seeing the consistency. And that's why those guys said something to me, not because they were embarrassing me or because they wanted to make me feel funny, but because they wanted me to know, hey girl, I see you. And a lot of them are going, oh my gosh, you're doing so good. So don't think for a minute that people aren't paying attention to you because they are. The other thing I wanted to say really quick is that over the course of the last three months, I just booked my um, convention ticket I am booking my flight tomorrow, this week. I'm, I'm getting my flight this week and my trip is paid for because that is the other thing. I'm going next month down to Dayton. If you're not going, you better get there. If you don't have your ticket purchased, you better get it purchased because you know what? You have almost an entire year. You have eight months to figure out how you're gonna get yourself to convention. How are you gonna get that ticket paid for? Because you know what? You only need a couple hundred dollars right now to front to get that ticket and eight months to figure out how you're gonna get there. Because you know that you have some wise sisters that are not far from you that you can get in there with. So don't make an excuse, make it a priority, okay? All right, so let me just first all say to you, I am excited to be here. Amanda told me about this about 
15 minutes ago. So I am a total impromptu speaker. Thank you. And um, I'm hopefully going to wing this and, and get something good for you guys um, to leave here with. But um, the biggest thing that I want to tell you is that this advice I'm giving you is also right back at me because you know what? I'm suffering the hangover of November, right? We're exhausted. There was so much excitement. And of course, there's going to be that natural letdown. That's what happens after excitement. But you know what? We got to get back in there. We can't let that excitement die. So what I want to know is what is your daily uh, method of operations? And if you haven't seen this paper, I'm going to make sure that we get it shared again because this is something that's not going to go away. And when you feel lost, like so many of us, hi, me, <laughs> when you feel lost, just like the rest of us, sometimes you just need to hit this reset button. You need to say, oh my God, I am so lost. I have nowhere to turn. I asked 50 other friends on the Y team and they're all feeling the same way. What is it we do? And everybody panics. No, you cannot panic. You've got to go back to the basics. This is the basics, people. So I'm going to tell you this right now, and I'm going to read from this. Yes, I'm going to post it later, but you better have your pen and paper out right now because I am going to read this to you. And if you don't have a printer at home, especially, or you're going to forget when you go back to work after vacation or whatever, you better be writing this down. So your daily method of operations, this is amazing, you guys. So when you don't know where to start, this is where you go back to to hit reset. Are you creating 20 new connections in Messenger and or in your posts? Are you interacting with people? Like Amanda said, are you commenting? It's not just clicking like and love and you know, whatever, and not just saying so cool. Okay, don't just say so cool, you know, say so cool and then get in the Messenger and say, oh my gosh, you know, just like she said, those, that outfit was rocking girl. Oh my gosh, you know, you look amazing. I know how hard you've worked. I'm so proud of you. That's where you start building these relationships. And that's what it is. Between the lines of what this list is, you've got to pay attention to what she's saying between the lines. When it says, create 20 new connections in Messenger and or Post, she's saying build relationships, not just get in there and say something. Don't be fake, be real. You know, that is something that I hear all the time from people because I'm going to tell you right now, I can't be fake. I think fake is stupid and I hate it. And people who are fake, I immediately pick up on it and I go, mm -mm, I'm out of here. I, I don't want to be with this person. And it's not because I think they're bad. It's because I know that they're not sincere. I know that they're not genuine. You know, I know I'm going to say this. I have a girlfriend that I went to high school with who's on another team and she stalks my page, you guys, because she is not sincere. She can, she can copy me all day long and she does. Thanks, Amanda. She copies me all day long, but she can't copy sincerity. She can't copy being genuine. She can't copy being loving and nurturing and empathetic and sympathetic and just being a good person. You can't fake that. Okay. So when you are that person, let it out. Let people see that. If you want to feel vulnerable because you're doing that, so what? Being vulnerable is what gets people to say, oh, I like her. I trust her. You know what? I'm not afraid to say, you know what? I don't think I like this primer right now. And so I'm going to tell you that because this is what I'm feeling. But you know what? I'm going to let you know because I'm going to keep using it and let you know in the wintertime how it feels. Be honest like that. Okay. Don't shy away from being honest. Be honest. Okay. The next one, be consistent on your platforms. Okay. If Facebook is where you're at, which is where you should be right now, if you are new, hi, I'm new. Facebook is where I'm at. Every once in a while, I'll dabble in something with Instagram, but is it my priority? No. Do I spend a bunch of time there? No. Five minutes, maybe once in a while, and I just kind of randomly sprinkle something in there. But I'm telling you, Facebook is where it's at right now to build your business because that is where you're at with your friends and family. This is where you're going to grow it. And if you're not adding friends every day, and if you're not making connections every day, you've got to put that on there. That goes back to the first one about 20 connections. Are you making friendships and are you making new friends with those people? You know, get in somebody, you know, when you comment on somebody's post, look and see what their friends are saying and be like, oh my gosh, I agree with, with Sarah. You know, I love her comment, blah, 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 I'm with her. That's a great way to start connections too. All right. Here, huge one. Number three, never, ever, 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 ever let your stories die. Don't ever have nothing up there. Make sure there's something. And I'll tell you, over this holiday, I have gotten down to where like I have two things up on there. 
And I'm like, ah, I gotta post something. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, what can I Google about positivity? What is everybody else doing? <laughs> and it's like, Amanda knows a million people that I don't. You know, I have a bunch of uh, girls that we're friends with on this bat group, and I look at some of the things they post because they don't have my friends. And you know, you don't think for a minute, I go in there and go, screenshot, crop it, eh, oh, it's mine now. You guys, it, you don't have to reinvent this wheel. Get in there and borrow from your sisters. They are there to love you, help you, support you. They are there. They're not gonna be mad that they see their post on your wall. They're gonna be like, yeah. You know, I think my friend Janice just said the other day, the, the biggest form of flattery is when someone copies what you're doing. And it's true. It's true, you guys. This is the best team. I'm telling you right now. So if somebody's copying you, it's flattery. Do not ever get mad at that. That is flattery. And you should be proud. You should be proud. You know, that whole saying, I give you the shirt off my back. I don't care who they are. Do you know that I run side by side with people that are on Amanda's team? Not my team. Amanda's team, because you know what? It doesn't matter if they're running beside me, behind me, in front of me. It doesn't matter. We are on a team together. So make your efforts available to everybody because you never know when it's going to be you that's going to need it. And that wise sister who runs beside you on a whole nother, you know, upline is going to grab onto you and be that person that goes, you know what? I like you and I want you to run with me. Okay. Always give always give. It's that feeling that you get when you do that. It's so important. And I tell you what, I'm all about it. You, you get what you give. And if you give greatness, greatness will come back to you. I am such a big believer of that. Okay. The next one, number four, have 10 conversations about booking every single day. Now, these are numbers that I'm just throwing out as basics. And I know many of you on here have been doing this for a while and you're going 10. Okay. You do you. Okay. Um, but we're making sure that we're grabbing a hold of all of those people who are feeling like I'm out of control. I'm spiraling. I have no idea what I'm doing. These are the basics. Okay. But you want to be talking about affiliates and parties and events and whatever else you're doing in the back. Okay. You need to be talking to people every single day and you might think, Oh, 10 no big deal. Okay. Well you sit down and you do 10 of those every day. You do 20 connections every day. You make sure that your stories are all good. And when you get really good at that, okay, then up your numbers. But you know what? Make sure that you know that this is really the starting point. All right, number five, plant 10 or more opportunity seeds and ongoing conversations. You guys, you don't have a conversation like a couple of, you know, back and forth with somebody and then go, hey, buy this. That's not how you do it. You have to build this because like Amanda said, what you've built three months ago is what you're going to, you know, harvest now. So you have to take time and build that. When you connect with them, guess what? Your face pops up in their feed. Every time you have that connection with them in the back, on the, on the messenger, they are going to see you in their stories, in their feed. So just know it doesn't matter if you're talking about your business one-on-one -on -one because guess what? When you go live every single day, they're gonna see you, okay? They're gonna see you. So don't fret that, well, I'm wasting all this time. You're not wasting time, you are building. You are building those relationships and you are running and you don't even understand it, okay? Make sure that you're doing those things. Fill, okay, the next one, number six. Fill your cup, fill your cup. Make sure that you are doing, you know, your gratitudes, you're doing your personal development, because you know what, right now is when things are going crazy. Everything has gone crazy for the past, you know, month and a half with everything Black Friday and now everything Christmas and New Year's, and it seems out of control. Take care of you. Get on the treadmill, listen to some personal development, fill your cup. You know, right now I'm suffering. That's why I said treadmill because this girl right here is suffering with my fitness. I was on such a routine and now I'm off of it and now I got to get back on it. Okay. So what that, what I'm going to do, I just had ice cream too. Oh my God. I had a big bowl right when you called me. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, it's like, I am so bad at that too. And so that's why I'm saying, get on that treadmill, do your personal development and you know what? Just own it. When you make a mistake, this is my biggest thing. When I make a mistake, I will tell you, I am so sorry. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done it. Right now, whatever you're mad at yourself, like, like Amanda just said, forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Whatever you've done, 
whatever you've done to sabotage yourself, that big bowl of ice cream that I just ate and Amanda's eating right now, yes, is it in line with the things that we want? No, no, it's not. But you know what? We are going to be giving ourselves grace and we are going to be forgiving ourselves because you know what? We are real. We are real people and we are going to be just fine because one misstep doesn't mean you're going down with the ship, okay? It means you're gonna move on, you're gonna walk past it, and you're gonna keep on moving, okay? Nothing's gonna bring you down. You might get slowed for a minute, but that doesn't mean you stop running. You're gonna keep on pushing through, all right? Okay, the last one on this page, I don't even know what number we're on, seven, something like that. Post three times a day on your personal wall with authenticity and value. Okay, do you know what's value? You. You are value. That's value. You know, you, you can Google value all day long, but you know what's value is what you're looking for. And if you're struggling right now with weight loss or, you know, if you're struggling with the weight gain, you know, whatever, that's value. Post about that because somebody else is watching you and is feeling the same way. Value is what's important to you. Value is your life because why do you think those people are following you? They want to see what you're doing. Why do you think I look at Amanda's um, stories every single day? Because I want to see those little babies. I don't have babies anymore. I want to see those cutie pies and I want to see what's going on and I want to see how they're feeling. They've been sick. You know what? That's value. She posts value every day. You do the same thing. It may be the dumbest trip to Kroger, but guess what? You're going to do out, you're going to be out there and be like, here I go to Kroger two seconds and somebody's going to love it. Okay. You are the value. So post about you, post about the things that are, that are on your mind or on your heart. Those are the things that you have to be looking for. Also empower, you know, entertain, be silly. You know, if you haven't been silly in a while, you better get on there and be silly because people want to know you're real. People want to know that you are just like them. We are not here to be above people. We are here to be beside people and to be under them, to push them up. Because guess what? We're here doing it every single day to each other. Can I tell you something real quick? I got a sidebar, squirrel. Okay, so every single holiday, I struggle. I struggle with depression, I struggle with anxiety, I struggle with self-image and self-esteem and you know how family perceives me and how that just feels out of my comfort zone. Family to me is really hard and it's because of my childhood. Family to me and my childhood were the people that I was supposed to trust the most, but they hurt me deep, hurt me bad. And so right now as an adult, family to me does not mean love and nurturing, it means hurt. And it's hard for me to get over that, even though I know that these fam this family that I've been with for so long, my in-laws, I know they love me, I know that they're sincere, I know they're not the people who have hurt me, but it's still hard for me. Can I tell you that this is the first year that I have not had a massive like almost panic attack over going to a family function? Do you know that my confidence level walking in the door is like, hey, I'm here, and I am feeling so in control of myself, of my emotions, because, because I know who I am, and I have all of you. We get empowered every single day. The people that are following us and who love us, they want a little bit of what we have, even if it's messy. Even if it's messy and ugly, and we're not always that strong, amazing person every time, they want a piece of us. They want to know how they can be like us. How can we overcome it? How can we be so positive? You guys, I hear people all the time, oh my gosh, I, you're just so fun. I love to watch your video. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means, but okay, great. I'm just being me. This is how I am. And that's what people want. They want the, the person that you are when you're on here so excited because you love this company, you love these products, you love your team, and you just love what you're doing. And you love helping other people. Give them more empower them with that. Okay. Um, find some great quotes or find some great, you know, fun things to post. Um, you know, and don't be afraid to share your family. You know, I'm with Amanda. I was a really big freak about that. Hello, police. We're freaks about everything. Um, I was a total nut job over anybody knowing anything about my kids and where we lived and everything else. And I'm over it because she's right. It takes work and effort to come find me. And you know, what are they going to do? Come find me at Kroger? Okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, what are they going to do? So anyway, I love that. Don't be afraid to be a little bit open and, you know, let people in your life a little bit. All right. The last thing is this second page of this. Um, plant your seeds. Plant your seeds, people. 
booking seeds, follow-up seeds, opportunity seeds, affiliate link seeds, party seeds, whatever seeds you want to plant. But I'm telling you, there's 10 of each of these a day. So when you think, oh, 10's not that much, you got a whole page of these, okay? So don't get overzealous and don't think, well, I'm going to do 30 because 20 or, you know, 10 doesn't seem like much. 10's a lot. 10's a lot when you are in a panicked state and you are in this like, oh my gosh, I don't know where to go right now. Everything's out of control. I lost that momentum. I'm not doing the things that I should have been doing. Go back to basics. When you lose your footing, go back to basics. Okay. Oh, I hope that made sense. That was freaking amazing. I was over here like, huh, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm like going crazy over here and everyone's like blowing up. Valentina's messaging me over here. Like, dude, that was freaking, you are amazing, girl. Thank you. Like, thank you for reiterating what everyone needs to do. Thank like, you. That is so freaking important. I'm so grateful to have you on my team, Sarah. Like, I'm so grateful that you chose me. I'm so grateful. You know, I'm just grateful because you are a powerhouse. You are an inspiration and you are someone that everyone Everyone, everyone looks up to because you literally are just you're freaking incredible and I think that everyone in the chat box could agree with that right now so let's everybody say thank you to Sarah for just giving us oh. her time like literally I asked her like five minutes before this thing started I was like I want to freaking do this with her she did. so <laughs> yes and she gave it and she delivered and she's amazing so here's what I want to say you guys really quickly before we go um first of all <laughs> thank you for coming together you guys thank you for coming together and making this happen and I want to say I don't know if you guys follow Sarah Shaw on Facebook and watch what she does, but here's the deal, you guys. Her videos get like 80 something views, okay? Yet wherever she goes, people knows, know who she is. Do you want to know, story. like, what's that, Sarah? True story. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. And it's because, like, time. yeah, and it's because she shows up every day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many views you guys are getting on your videos. Like none of that stuff matters. Okay. People are still seeing you. Facebook counts video views so different now. It's like the weirdest thing. I don't know what they're doing or how they count it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sarah is having success. She's getting recognized in public and she gets 80 something views on her videos. You guys, sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's like the average that I see. Yeah doesn't matter. Let go of it. You guys let go of the views, let go of it because it's just going to get in your head. And it's going to mess with you. Like for a while when they changed the way that they counted views and lash out loud in groups, you guys, Oh my God, it killed me. I was like, I'm not even going to go live anymore because nobody, nobody's going to see me and it doesn't matter. Like none of it matters. It doesn't matter. I hate my life. It's over for me. And like, I, I was really scared because I was like, dude, my videos in this team group used to get like thousands of views. And now it's like, I get off and there's like 130, you know? And listen, it has nothing to do with me and Facebook counts views differently. The people that are going to watch you are the ones that are going to watch you. And they're the ones that need to see you because they're the ones that need to have the value that you are going to provide them. Okay. Kara Brown. I saw her in the chat. She said, I was confused on what value was. I think I was confused and I get it now. You guys value is value. Value is value. Sarah said she wants to see my babies. That's value to her. Okay. It's not what's valuable to you. It's what's valuable to them. Yeah. Okay. What's valuable to them is all that matters. How can you add value? Write this down. How can I add value to others? John Maxwell talks about it all the time. How can I add value to others? My babies are adorable. That's freaking valuable. Okay. <laughs> I struggle. All the time. Y'all, I was just typing in the comments because Gwen was saying that depression is killing her. And Gwen, I hope that you don't mind me saying that out loud. But to me, you guys, listen, like I struggle on the regular. I was having a really rough day the other day. When you have two sick babies, you're sick yourself. Your other kids are sick, you guys, and your babies are screaming bloody murder. It's like the most piercing sound imaginable. Okay. I had a moment where like, I literally like, and I'm a good person, you guys, but I had a moment where I got so angry, like so angry just at the sound of my babies crying. And you can't tell me that you've never felt this before. Okay. Because you are lying, but I got so angry. I literally, I scream, I screamed, just yelled at nothing. And I slammed a full sippy cup on the ground and it shattered everywhere because I had a moment. Okay. I struggle with anxiety. I struggle with depression. I struggle with things every single day. And some way, somehow, if you guys are interested, okay, there's a video on my Facebook. I think, I don't know if it's my page or if it's my personal page. Um, look up Amanda Lawrence, depression and business. Okay. Look it up and watch it. 
some way, somehow I've managed to build a very successful business in five years, having depression, having anxiety, struggling you guys with like literal, like the worst anxiety. What are they thinking about me? Are they talking about me? Am I in a room with somebody that's talking about me? Do they, do they hate me? Are they mad at me? Is this person mad at me? Did I say something wrong? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Am I doing this right? Is somebody going to judge me for the way that I just said that? Is somebody going to be mad at me for the words I just said? These are the things that are literally in my mind all the time. And I don't even think I've ever said that out loud on this team, but it's literally my daily struggle. Every single day, these voices in my head are always like, what is she thinking? What is she doing? Oh my God, is she thinking that about me? Oh my God, is she mad at me? Oh my gosh. Like I'm thinking all these things all the time, you guys, all the time. My thoughts are like literally always going. I don't know how to turn them off. It's a struggle that I have every day. Okay. And sometimes I don't want to get out of bed. Uh -huh. but I've managed to make this happen. And if I can do it, <sighs> you can do it. Okay. I'm just your regular old gal who wanted to buy a burrito on her own without asking my husband for money. That's it. That's all I wanted. I wanted to buy a burrito and I literally, I bought this kit of makeup and I wanted to send it back. I didn't even open it for a while. I wanted to send it back you guys. And I didn't, I didn't. And I just kept going. The ups, the downs, the failures, the triumphs, the everything, you guys, the everything. I've had all of the bad times, all the good times, all the, all the crazy people on my team, all the not so crazy people on my team. I've been through it all. And here we are, all of us. Every single one of us is here because I made it through those times. And I allowed my failures to become my greatest successes. I learned my greatest lessons from my biggest failures. You will too. You had a failure this month. We've all had a failure this month. Some of us are winning big time, but a lot of us are having a moment. Learn from it. Learn from it. Learn from everything that's happened. Move on. Okay? Utilize the sale that's coming. Go crazy. Forgive yourself. Give yourself some grace for the hundredth time. Give yourself some damn grace. Get up. Get moving, acquire new customers, start building that momentum again, start building that trust again. The great thing about momentum is that you can always create it over again. You can always create it over again. Okay. Start over and let's get serious about our business. Let's get serious about our future. Let's get serious about believing in ourselves. Let's get serious. You guys. Okay. Let's pretend that the new year starts now. Okay because our new year is going to be badass if we start now. Okay. <clears throat> I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you, Sarah. Thank you for sharing this zoom with me. You guys, we are the makeup mogul, Sonia Aikens. We do hard things and we do them hardcore. You guys together to the top Val. Thanks for being here too, babe. I love you. And your girls that were here too. Um, I love you guys all. You guys are all incredible. And I, you guys all mean everything to me, every freaking thing. I'm so grateful that we were able to come together and get over a hundred people on here. Um, let's do it again next Monday, you guys. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. You guys are special, you're capable, you're freaking amazing, and I love you all to the moon and back, you guys. Let's go slay, and let's change the freaking world, you guys. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>